from the O'Hara Construction Studio in downtown Jackson. It's the Bard Holly Show. I'm Adam Bragginser inviting you to join Bart and his guests. From Henry Ford Jackson Hospital, Vice President of Population Health, Dr. Cortland Katayan. JTV Sports presents high school basketball highlights. For the Jackson County Rose Festival and Parade, Jim Francis with newly crowned Miss Jackson Rose Queen, Emily Burkhart. From St. John United Church of Christ for their upcoming community concert, Reverend Judy Goodrow. And from Jackson Business and Professional Women, Janet Rice. And now, here's Bart. <laughs> Thank you very much, Adam. And wow, sounds like an exciting show, and I'm sure it will be welcome. Thanks for tuning in today on this Monday, the uh, 11th of March. 44 degrees in Jackson, and the weather service says we're going to get to 57, and I have a hard time believing that. Yeah. Uh, we've got a long ways to go. Uh, this daylight savings time thing, um, so it's 1 o'clock now, and if it, uh, if it was last week, it would be 12. It'd be noon. Yep. So I don't know, maybe we got an extra hour. <laughs> Does that throw off your sleep pattern when that happens? It, it messes up my sleep pattern. Yeah. Nah, I don't like it. Uh, daylight saving time. There's no S. There's only one S in saving. <laughs> uh, today, um, the winds will be uh, 15 miles an hour and then picking up tonight, tomorrow, and into Wednesday. Overnight tonight, clear 40. Uh, warming up to 64 on Tuesday. Winds. 24 miles an hour, very windy weekend. Uh, it's March winds, it's uh, kite season. On Wednesday, a uh, chance of showers, a little bit warmer, partly sunny, 64, and continued uh, windy into early Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, showers likely and cooling off to 55. Showers on Friday, 51. 53 for Saturday and for St. Patrick's Day, it's a Sunday this year, uh, partly sunny, and a high of 47. That's it. Today's weather brought to you by Kelly Express. Great savings at Kelly Express on all your favorite snacks. They have more specials this month than, uh, than all winter. Uh, Fiesta Twists are two for $6. Cheez-Its, two for $3. Chex Mix or Bugles, two for $5. And the Snickers share size, two for four dollars. Plenty to share, uh, plenty of snacks, plenty of fun at Kelly Express. I'll uh, look outside. Shows us yes, the sun is shining, and we're seeing uh, work commence on what will be the uh, the, the Blackstone uh, apartments mm -hmm. on the corner of Blackstone and Glick. They have been uh, adding equipment over the last uh, week or so, and now we are seeing for the very first time actual work as foundation is being prepared. And it's amazing how fast they can put these buildings up. They expect they that by the end of the year it'll be done. Wow. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. So uh, we do need uh, more housing. Every community, it turns out, uh, is in need of more housing. Uh, today is the uh, 11th, and it is the start of the month of Ramadan, and Governor Whitmer today issued a proclamation declaring March 11th to April 9th as the month of Ramadan in Michigan for Muslims. It's the holy month of fasting. It's uh, Dream Day, fill our staplers day. Brandon, if you were putting staples in a stapler and they didn't fit, would you try to force them? Yes. Yes. Of course. of course, everyone does. It'll work once. Uh, it's Johnny Appleseed Day, National Prom Posal Day, and apparently this is a big thing in high schools. Today's the first day that people can ask someone to go to the prom, prom posal. It's National Workplace Napping Day. Let's see, we've got three, three, four people. Two o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Two o'clock. Uh, World Plumbing Day. 
today. It was on this day, you'll remember it, four years ago today, the World Health Association declared COVID a pandemic. And it was on this day that President Trump went on TV in a prime dime Oval Office uh, address. He announced a 30-day travel ban on foreign travel to the U.S. And that's pretty much it. That was the first. As this week rolls on, we will be uh, looking at other uh, anniversary marks of the COVID pandemic. But this is the week. Um, it was a Wednesday, four years ago. And Thursday and Friday, schools closed. Um, the governor shut down everything, including restaurants. St. Patrick's Day uh, was canceled. Church services were canceled for weeks. Yep. Unbelievable. Four years ago, it all began on this date. In uh, 1957, Charles Van Doren finally lost on the game show 21. He uh, won a total of $129,000, and he later revealed the show was fixed. Uh, they were feeding him the answers. The great quiz show scandal began uh, with that show. And in 1917, the first NHL championship game ever played, the Toronto Arenas beat the Montreal Canadiens 7-3, and it was a two-game uh, championship the uh, second game was in two more days. Oh, you'll have to wait uh, for the results of that one. It was Toronto Arenas. What do you think? You know, there are no, there's no NHL teams. Like, there's six. And Toronto says, what should we name our hockey team? Well, we've got this arena. <laughs> <laughs> How does that happen? Uh, all that on this day in history. Now on to uh, today in the J, brought to you by Experience Jackson. And we have Improv Cop Comedy Night at Enchanted Forest Bar and Grill and Banquet Hall, 3705 Ann Arbor Road in Jackson. The folks from Monster Box Theater are doing improv at Enchanted Forest. Starting at 7 o'clock, there will be three sets of shows. You can stay for a mall, you can eat dinner, you can have drinks, you can have a great old time tonight at Enchanted Forest. Uh, we've got yoga at the Eastern Branch of the Jackson District Library at three o'clock, and then later a craft supply swap at the Eastern Branch from five until 7.30. If you've got uh, craft supplies you're not using, maybe you bought too many uh, uh, pipe cleaners or cotton balls and you wanna uh, donate them, bring them to the library, and then you can swap. Maybe you can find something that you can use. Maybe you need some more popsicle sticks. Uh, whatever your craft uh, supplies are, tonight, the craft swap. And that's it for today in the J, brought to you by Experience Jackson. But I have a couple other things coming up uh, this week. Uh, I wanted to tell you about Spin Doctors in concert Saturday night at Jackson College. They've been uh, touring, recording for uh, about 30 some years, and they're at Jackson College this uh, Saturday night. On Thursday, we have the Relay for Life kickoff celebration. The Relay for Life this year, their theme, it's like a Western theme. The slogan, give cancer a boot, rope in a cure. From 5.30 to 7 p.m., they're calling on team leaders, co-captains, survivors, and really anyone interested in learning more about the Relay for Life to show up. And since it's at 5.30 at the Cascades Manor, I know there will be some food. Yes, very good. So I bet it, I'm sure it's, uh, it'll be dinner. So come enjoy that. It's free, and you can be uh, getting a team together. And the Relay is the first weekend in August. Uh, Arlene Robinson, city council member, is holding a city neighborhood meeting. Uh, Arlene represents the first ward, but really anyone's invited. She will be at the Martin Luther King Center at 6 p.m. this Thursday, and she is going to be uh, presenting information on the proposed reconstruction 
of South MLK Drive, and also a discussion about forming neighborhood groups like Neighborhood Watch uh, organizations. That's uh, Thursday at the MLK Center. And that's it today in This Week in the J, presented by Experience Jackson. On uh, Saturday, it was the 13th, or 12th, the 12th. Uh, the 12th, it was the 13th year, but in 2020, they didn't hold it. Uh, the Southern Michigan Winter Beer Festival at Keeley Park, the American One Event Center. Brandon Dowley and the Food Circus team, along with Adrian Sharp, were there. How was it, Brandon? It was packed, yeah, it was great. Um, lots of uh, food trucks, and uh, Shorty's had some really good mac and cheese and glumpkies. Oh, yeah. Shorty's Kibby Cobb, and uh, yeah, different vendors. Um, I think someone was, there was tequila there. We had some West Texas barbecue as well. They had some really good uh, brisket that was um, very tender, um, mm. so yeah. Good and food, good beer, good ciders. Yeah, and we have local uh, beer makers. We do? Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. We also tried a banana seltzer, which was phenomenal. We never hmm. would have thought of having a banana seltzer. Yeah, so spirits uh, were uh, featured for the first time at this year's event because places like Grand River Brewery, they're distilling uh, whiskey and yep. things like that. Mm -hmm. So. This is a fundraiser for the fair so that they can uh, give prizes and premiums to the exhibitors like the 4-H kids. Um, so it's really a, a needed uh, and valuable uh, resource for the fair to be able to provide that during fair week. And uh, there were all kinds of fun things to buy. Very fun, yes, yeah. Yes, <laughs> very fun. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, more photos online at uh, jtv.tv. Uh, it's the week of the uh, regionals for girls uh, district uh, basketball. We'll have some highlights from the district uh, girls, what did I say? Regionals for girls, the tournament, and the quarterfinals for the boys. So tonight we have four Jackson County teams who are competing in round one of the regionals, and JTV Sports will be all over. So look tonight to JTV.TV for videos and photos from the games. And Brandon, I believe your niece is playing in one of the games tonight. Yeah, uh, Tecumseh versus Western at Charlotte. So yeah, it'll be a good game. And Western beat Tecumseh earlier in the year, one of, their, one of Tecumseh's few losses. So I think it's going to be a really good game. Wow. Two great teams. Yeah, two great teams. And that's tonight at 5.30 at uh, Charlotte, and JTV uh, Sports will be there for that. Tomorrow, it is the quarterfinals for boys basketball, and we have uh, one team in the quarterfinals, and that's Lumen Christie, and they're playing tomorrow night at Ypsilanti Lincoln against, uh, who are they playing? They are playing. Gabriel, uh, River, Riverview Gabriel Richard yeah. uh, tomorrow night at um, Ipsy uh, Lincoln. So we will have that uh, coverage for you here on JTV. Our sponsor of the day today is Tri-County Water and Tri-County Water providing the, the, the water in the uh, County National Bank Green Room. Thanks Tri-County Water. They've been serving our community and the surrounding areas since 1966. This great family owned company uh, providing uh, water, water uh, softeners, uh, water supplies like salt, and much more. Thanks to Dry County Water. Uh, we have a community resource expo event happening in Jackson uh, this Thursday. Jackson area residents looking to get connected to community resources have this opportunity. A community resource expo will be hosted by Ward 5 City Council member Shalonda Hunt in partnership with the City of Jackson Group Violence Intervention Program at 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. in the auditorium of the Jackson District Library Carnegie Branch. Residents uh, attending the event will be able to get information about community resources and make connection with these organizations. The Community Action Agency 
Consumers Energy, Michigan Works Southeast, Isaiah's Hub, Save Our Youth, Jackson, Michigan, Giving Back to the Community, the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. The event is free. Uh, the auditorium in the Carnegie Branch is in the lower level in downtown Jackson. Our great lineup of guests on today's show from the uh, Henry Ford Jackson Hospital, Vice President of Population Health, Dr. Cortland Katayan. We've got Jim Francis from the Jackson County Rose Festival and Parade, and he will be introducing us to the newly crowned Emily Burkhart, Miss Jackson County Rose Queen, and previewing the Rose Parade. We have the Reverend Judy Goodrow from St. John United Church of Christ. They're hosting a special concert event. And in advance of Equal Pay Day, Janet Rice will be here from the Jackson Business and Professional Women's Club with uh, details on how you can uh, observe Equal Pay Day. All this and more, including highlights from Friday night's basketball action coming your way today on JTV. And we get started right after this.